Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Now we are moving into the second type in the second type this is a reducible Merkle chain but here each close communicating class consists of only one element that is nothing but the observing states but uh, more than one close communicating class are possible therefore this type is called uh, with one or more observing states here also my interest is to find out the stationary distribution the stationary distribution here the interest are of the different uh, way one is the probability of absorption the other one is uh, what is the mean time before absorption so for that i am making a further assumption the state space is going to be finite okay. so with that i am making a canonical form the canonical form consists of all the absorbing states that I label it as a capital A and all the transient states as a capital T therefore the state space S is a A union capital T therefore the canonical form I collect all the absorbing states in the first few rows and then remaining will be the all the transient states since uh, the absorbing states P i i is equal to 1 therefore you will have a identity matrix for the sub matrix of the matrix P corresponding to A to A whereas A to T absorbing states to the transient states that elements are going to be 0. So, that is a sub matrix with the entities 0 whereas a T to A will be sub matrix capital R and a T to T will be sub matrix Q. So, if you go for uh, what is the n step transition probability since it is identity matrix again also you will have identity matrix whereas, the t to a that is going to be a function of n whereas, the t to t will be a power n that is q raise to power n. As n tends to infinity the system would not be in the transient states therefore, q n will tends to 0 sub matrix as n tends to infinity and these probabilities are going to be 0 for all i comma j belonging to t, t is nothing but the set of transient states. Our interest is here what is the probability of absorption because we have a few one or more absorbing states. So, if the system start from some transient state what is the probability that the system will be absorbed into this absorption state. So, for that I am going to start with the Chapman Kolmogorov equation that is Chapman Kolmogorov equation for the n plus 1 nth step the system going from the state i to k that probability same as what are all the possible the system can go make a one step from i to j and then j to k in n steps all the possibilities j belonging to s where s is the state space. I know either I have a one sorry either I have a transient states or all other states are observing states therefore, if k is going to be the absorbing state then p k k is equal to 1 that means a one step transition probability of system moving from state k to k that is 1. Therefore, i to k in n plus 1 steps that probability I can split uh, I can make i to k in 1 step then forever I will be in the state k plus I would have moved to the state i to j where j is another transient state it could be same also could be same also then j to k in n steps. Now, I am defining what is the meaning of a probability of absorption that I am denoting with the letter a suffix i comma k that is nothing but the probability that the system starts in state i it starts in state i eventually get absorbed in absorbing state k. 
So, the first letter is the starting state and the second k is the observing state. So, this is the probability of a absorption starting from the state i to the absorption state k. Now, I am taking the equation 1 as I make a n tends to infinity in both side, the left hand side will be a of i comma k because as n tends to infinity. So, this will be a i k similarly p j k of n that is also a j k. Therefore, I will have a a i k this side and a j. So, this is sort of recursive equation. So, this is in the element form I can go for in the matrix form. So, I can write a, a i k as a matrix capital A. Therefore, in the matrix form the previous uh, the this equation for all values of i this equation has in the matrix form capital A is equal to R matrix because this is p i to k where i is the transient state and k is the absorbing state. So, e transient state to the absorption state transient state to the absorption state that sub matrix is capital R. Therefore, in the matrix form capital A is equal to R matrix plus Q matrix that is a, the one step transition of system is moving from transient to transient multiplied by A matrix. So, I can do the simplification. So, I get a, A matrix equal to I minus Q inverse R matrix and here this I minus Q inverse that is nothing but the fundamental matrix. So, once you are able to calc find out the fundamental matrix multiply by the R matrix that will give the probability of absorption starting from the transient state and reaching absorption state. And this probability is not independent of initial state that is very important. Whereas, the previous type of reducible Markov chain that is a independent of initial state whereas, here the probability of absorption is not independent of the initial state i. So, this we can visualize through one example that I am going to present later. The next result interested in the reducible Markov chain with one or more absorbing states that is what is the time to absorption basically our interest is to get the mean time to absorption starting from the transient state to a absorbent state. That means, uh, how much time on average the system is spending in the transient states before absorption. That is very important because many application has a reducible Markov chain in which uh, more than one absorption states are there with the transient states. Therefore, what is the mean time up to absorption? That means, uh, how much time spending in the transient states before the absorption. So, for that I am going to define the random variable capital T i. The T i denotes the number of steps including the starting state i in which the Markov chain remains in a transient state before entering the absorption state, absorbing state. So, there is a possibility the system would have been spending at least one step before absorption or two steps or three steps and so on. Therefore, that is going to be a random variable. It is a discrete random variable with the possible values are 1, 2, 3 and so on. Our interest is uh, not only finding out the distribution of T a, our interest is to find out what is the mean time up to absorption from the transient state to a absorbing state. So, this probability can be computed by find out what is the probability of a T n is equal to n for some n, n can take the value 1, 2, 3 and so on. So, that discrete random variable probability, probability mass function can be computed in this way. You find out what is the probability of T i is greater or equal to n minus 1 minus what is the probability that T i is greater than or equal to n. If you find the difference that is same as the probability mass at n. 
but this is same as the T i greater than or equal to n minus 1 that is same as the n minus 1 at the step the system is in the transient state. If a T i is going to be greater than or equal to n minus 1 that means the system spends a at least n minus 1 steps in the transient states. Once it goes to the absorption state then it cannot come back to the transient states. Therefore, the meaning of a T i greater than or equal to n minus 1 that is same as the n minus 1 at the step the system in the transient states. So, both the events are equivalent therefore, the probabilities are equal. Similarly, you can argue T i greater than or equal to n means at least n steps in the system in the transient states before absorption. That is same as in the nth step the system is in the transient state. The probability of n minus 1 nth step the system is in the transient state that is same as what is the what are all the possibilities the system would have moved from the state i to j in n minus 1 steps. You add all the possibilities j belonging to t, you add all the possibilities of the transient states that summation will give this probability. Similarly, for the x n belonging to capital T, this is in the for fixed i where i is belonging to the transient state. Now, I will go for I know that uh, for i comma j belonging to t the n step transition probability is nothing but the sub matrix that is q power n. If you recall the way we made a canonical form of a p matrix the t to t that is a q matrix therefore, as n tends to uh, for any nth step that is going to be q power n. So, this is what I am using for i comma j belonging to capital T the sub matrix of a p power n that is q power n. Therefore, for i comma j belonging to t the n step transition of system moving from i to j that is q power n. Therefore, I can substitute here in the above equation. So, the probability mass at n that is same as a q power n minus 1 into i minus q into e vector. Once I know the probability mass function for the discrete random variable T i, then I can find out uh, the mean. Mean is nothing but a uh, summation n times uh, the probability mass at uh, n T i is equal to n. If I add summation over n that is going to be the mean time up to absorption that is going to be do the simple calculation you will get uh, i minus q inverse into E vector. This i minus q inverse is nothing but the fundamental matrix. That means, uh, if you find out the fundamental matrix multiplied by the or sub matrix, you will get the probability of absorption. If you multiply by the E vector, you will get the mean time up to the absorption. 